Hello again. Let me show you how to make a group picker for your students. I use something that looks like this right over here in my classes on a regular basis. Uh, very simple to do, very easy to set up using Google Sheets. And you can also change it so that it looks like this one right here for doing a jigsaw so that you have your home team groups and you also have your expert groups by color. Only takes a few minutes to set up the template and then once you're done with that, you can reuse it over and over again for all your classes. Let's take a look at how to do that. First thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna open up a new Google Sheet. And this will be for our new uh, group picker. And all I'm gonna do is just set up the way that I have it set up. You're, you can do it any way that you'd like. In fact, you could even use uh, the, same, um, the same template really for setting up like a, a seating chart. So um, I'm just gonna go through a couple of these resizings and you'll hopefully see what it um, will look like when we're done. So I'm just gonna resize this column and make this one 20. And I'm gonna make this one over here also 20. And you'll see why once, uh, once we get going with this. And then I'm gonna go down to number five, row number five, and I'm gonna resize this and make this one 15. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one over here, number nine, we'll make this one 15. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna put the groups in uh, between the smaller cells that are right there. So I'm just gonna highlight uh, these six over here and we're gonna put uh, some borders around it. So that's the first border. Actually, before that too, we need to make this a little bit bigger. We'll make um, this one 130 so that all the names can fit. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll make these two 130. Okay. Um, and what I want to do is I want to put a thicker border around the whole group. So I'll highlight this again, and then we'll choose a thicker border, and we'll just do the outside border like this. Uh, I want to make sure that the text in here, I like 11, and we want to make sure that it's going to be centered. And what I'm going to do for these here is you can pick whatever color that you want. You can leave it uh, white on black or black on white. Uh, I'm going to use our school colors, so we'll use that background, and then I'm going to change the font to yellow because we have gold. And then this one right here, I'm going to merge like that, and I'm going to actually type in group one, and I'm going to make this bold. Um, so the, the students' names will go here, and this will be group one, and then I'm going to actually merge these together because now that we've got our, our template set up for the first group, we can just copy that and paste it to the next one. And then I'll merge this one over here and we'll paste it again. And I'm gonna call this group three. And then this one over here, I'm gonna call group five. Now group five, I'm gonna change a little bit in case we have uh, extra students. So I'm just gonna highlight this right here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna put a border around this one. We're going to make that the thin border first and then I'll re-highlight it and we'll make it the thicker border and we just need the sides and the bottom and we want to change that so that it's blue and then the font color is yellow. We want to make sure it's centered and also that it's 11. Um, and then the, the simplest way I think to do this is we'll just copy these two columns and we'll paste them over here. And then we're just gonna rename. So this is now gonna be group number two. This will be group number four. And then this one here will be group number six. And so once we have the student names populated, this is what will be um, on the screen and you can have the names in here alphabetically, reverse alphabetically, randomly. You could even uh, just type them in manually if you'd like to. And then what you can do is you just pro project this onto the screen so that the students can see where they have to go. So the way that we get the student names in here is uh, in column number H for this particular one, I'm gonna paste the student names here. So what we have to do then is we have to tell the Google Sheet to take the names that are here and then put them into the cell. So I'm gonna start with the first one, this is H1. So right here I just type in equals H1. And then over here, I type in equals H2. Over here equals H3. And then equals 
H4. And I'm gonna continue to do the whole thing. So this one will be five, and then six, seven, all the way down to the bottom. So let me uh, do that and then I'll get right back to you. Okay, so I've done most of these and if I have an uneven um, group, so like group five and six could potentially have six students versus uh, four. And again, you can set this up however you like, but when I have something like this, um, what I like to do then is to even off the groups that are gonna be uneven. So this last one here you can see is uh, H24. So here I'll do equals H25 and then I'll go over here, equals H26 and then equals H27, and then lastly over here, equals H28. So that way there, the, the last two groups will populate a, pop a little bit more evenly, even though they're gonna be a different number. So um, what I'm gonna do here now, before I do anything else, is I'm gonna rename this as the template, okay? Uh, the other thing that I wanna do is I wanna add another sheet. And this sheet over here, I'm just gonna rename, and I'm gonna call it working. Uh, the reason that I have a working sheet is because sometimes when you copy and paste uh, student lists, uh, they might be split by different levels or there could be some formatting issues. And so you can fix that in a working sheet over here and then go back and put it into your template. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that once we have the template, which is what we already have it set up, you can also copy this for any other uh, classes. So if we duplicate this over here, now that it's essentially it's done, we could rename this and we could call it something like period one or uh, whatever it is that you have for your classes. So now that I have my template, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a student list. So here's a student list and I'm gonna copy this list and I'll go back to my uh, group picker and instead of copying it right here, I'm gonna go to my working sheet in case there's anything I have to do to make it a little bit easier. So if I paste it here on the working sheet, I'll resize this. Uh, you can see that I have student at the top, so maybe we don't want that. So I can delete this cell. I'll shift all the, sh uh, the cells upward. And so now I can do the work here on this working sheet and it doesn't uh, interrupt or mess up whatever's happening on my actual template. So here's my student list. I can copy this list. I can go to my template or you can go to any of the other periods that are here. And then going to H1, I just paste them in and you can see it automatically populates. Now, we have this one left out over here because of the number of students that are in this class. Uh, if there were 28, then this one would be filled, right? If we had um, one fewer, then this one would be empty over here. So it toggles back and forth between those other groups. So this happens to be in alphabetical order. Now, the nice thing about Google Sheets is you don't have to do any um, formulas or anything else. If you hit this um, option down here, you can randomize the range and it will automatically randomize this and it repopulates into random groups that you can project onto your screen. Um, if you want it to go back to alphabetical or reverse alphabetical, then you can highlight this over here. We go to our data. And what we wanna do is we wanna sort the range, not the whole sheet, right? So if we sort the range, it goes back to alphabetical and the groups are now alphabetical. Uh, if we didn't do that, if we just clicked here and we sorted the sheet either from this option or if we went to data and we sorted the sheet, then what it will do is, um, once we have it, let's go to a random, I'll show you what it looks like. We'll randomize the event. If we then uh, sort the sheet this way, it will alphabetize it, but it will take the, the cells that were adjacent in the way that they were and it will just kind of mess this up completely. So that's why we just undo and it goes right back to the way that we were. Uh, the other thing that you can do if you wanted to make a, a jigsaw is you could then just change the color of the individual cells over here so that you could have different color groups within the different numbered groups. And you could have something that looks like this. This is one that I did using the same groups over here. And so now we've got uh, different color groups. Those might be expert groups. And then they have a home team group, which would be by the number. So that's it. Um, hope that works for you and thanks for watching.